It is Women's History Month, and today is also International Women's Day. And while Colorado wasn't the first state to allow women to vote, it became a national leader when it did so in 1893. Denver 7's Angelica Albaladejo digs into that history and also takes a look at how it still inspires today. When Melody Epperson lights up her blowtorch, the melting wax has a deeper meaning. The vulnerability of democracy and the strength of the women who fought for the right to vote. The movement was a powerful grassroots effort and really inspiring. I did these paintings with encaustic wax, which is an ancient form of painting where you heat up the wax paint and then you have to apply it with really specialized tools. Portraits of women's voting rights leaders, from Lucy Burns to Alice Paul and Ida B. Wells. You can embed text into wax. And so sometimes it would be words that they had said. As a Coloradan, she also discovered just how tenacious the women of the West were. It came up that my great grandmother was actually a part of that movement when she was a young woman and went door to door. And she wasn't alone. The Western United States was leading the way. Sean Boyd, who works in the History Colorado archives, says it started with Wyoming. And then Colorado gets to be the first by popular vote. There were women in every county pushing for this. We actually have the ballot from 1893 and they managed to, to get it through. And they didn't stop there. The Colorado folks became part of the national movement. The Queen Bee newspaper published in Denver spread the word and women like Alice Meredith kept pushing. Alice was kind of known as the Susan B. Anthony of Colorado. She went to work for the National American Women's Suffrage Association in DC. Which helped get women the vote across the United States by 1920. Through art, Epperson keeps that history alive and helps us remember women who don't always get that recognition, like Elizabeth Ensley. If the African American people had not come alongside this, it probably wouldn't have passed in Colorado. And this election year, we might not all have the right to vote. That's what we can take from this. Reporting from Denver and Arvada. To not be afraid of standing up for something that's really important. I'm Angelica Alvaladejo.